G'day, welcome to Tech Math Channel. I'm Josh. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to convert any decimal into its equivalent fraction. And as you can probably guess, there's going to be a few tricks I'm going to show you along the way in order to help us do this. So, three different types of decimals that we're going to be having a look at as we go along. They're going to start out nice and easy and be having a look at terminator decimals, how to convert these across to their equivalent fraction. A terminator decimal, uh, say something like this, say 0 0.75 or 0 0.1875, something like this, and how to convert it across to its equivalent fraction there. Uh, the next one we're going to have a look at is we're going to move on to then recurring decimals and how to convert those. Uh, say something like this one here. Nice simple ones to start off with. Uh, say 0 0.777, da, 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 da. Or say something like this one here, 0 0.242424, and how to convert those guys across to their equivalent fractions. Finally, we'll have a look at where we don't get that recurrence straight away. Something like this one here. Say we wanted to convert, say, 0 0.1666666666 recurring to its equivalent uh, fraction, or say even 0 0.91666666 across to its equivalent fraction there. So as you can see, we've got a fair bit going on today in this particular video, a fair bit to get through. And you may just want to skip to the particular section here. If that's the case, what you might want to do is have a look in the description and I'll put up links to each different section there. So anyway, as I said, we'll start out nice and easy by looking at how to convert these types of decimals across their fractions. These are terminator decimals. So say, for instance, we wanted to convert 0 0.75 across to its equivalent fraction here. This is a pretty simple thing to do. What we do is we literally just write down this 75 here as the top part of our fraction. Nice and easy to start off with. And we put this over a one with a number of zeros after it. How many zeros? Simple, just count how many decimals are to the right of the decimal place here. We have one, two, we have two zeros. So 0 0.75 is equal to 75 over 100. Now we can simplify this a little bit. 25 goes into both the numerator and the denominator here. So 75 divided by 25 is three and 100 divided by 25 is 4. There you go. This is how you go through and you change 0 0.75 into its equivalent fraction here. What about we have a look at another example? So for the next example, we were going to convert 0 0.1875 across to its equivalent fraction. So the same method. We just write down 1875 and we put that over well, a one with a bunch of zeros. How many zeros? One, two, three, four zeros. So it's 1875 over 10,000. Now this can be simplified down. As you can see, 25 goes into both of these. 25 goes into 1875 uh, 75 times, and it goes into 10,400 times. This can be simplified down even further, uh, where 25 now goes into both of these numbers. 25 goes into 75 three times, and it goes into 416 times. So there you go. That's how you go about converting terminating decimals into fractions. Well, let's move on. The next type of fractions we're going to be converting are recurring decimals. These are also pretty easy. It's just a matter of knowing the trick for doing them. So the example we're going to have a look at is 0 0.777, da, 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 where it just continues on and on. And we're going to convert this across to its equivalent fraction. Now, first off, don't panic. But to solve this, we're going to be using a little bit of algebra. Nothing too complex, but it's definitely going to help. So to start, like I said, we'll use a bit of algebra. We're going to make 0 0.77777 equal to x. I'll just write that down. So 0 0.7777, I won't put them all there, is equal to x. The next thing we do is we're going to look for where the first repeat occurs in our decimal here. And what I mean by that, as you can see, the first repeat... Well, it occurs between the first and the second seven there. We have a seven and then it repeats. So that's our first repeat there. What we're going to look is how many decimal places we have to move to get to that. And as you can see, we have to move one decimal place if we wanted to get to that spot. Now, to move a decimal one place, what we do is we multiply by 10. Okay, so let's multiply our equation here by 10. So 0 0.7777 times 10 is 7. 0.777. And this is equal to x times 10, which is 10x. Cool. So we have two equations here. We have this first equation and we have this second equation. Now, to solve this, what we're going to do 
is we're going to subtract the first equation from the second equation. So let's go through and do that. 7.7777 minus 0.7777 is equal to 7. This equals 10x minus x, which is equal to 9x, which is awesome because we're just about going through now and converted our fraction. If we look at our equation here now, we have 7 equals 9x. If we divide both sides of our equation by 9, we get our answer that x is equal to 7 over 9. That's pretty cool, right? That's how you go through and convert a recurring decimal into its equivalent fraction there. What about one more example? All right, for our next example, we're going to convert 0 0.24242424 across to its equivalent fraction. So first off, what we do is, you remember this? We made this value here equal to x. So 0 0.2424 is equal to x. That's our first equation there. The next thing we did is we looked for where the first repeat occurred. So we have 0 0.24 and 24, 24. So the first repeat occurs right here. How many decimal places do we need to jump? We jump one, two decimal places to get to that particular spot. So we're going to multiply our equation, two decimal places, by 100. So let's do that. Uh, we have 0 0.2424 times 100 is 24.24242424, 24, <laughs> la 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 la. Uh, X times 100 is 100X. Once again, we have two equations now. So we have first equation and second equation. We're going to subtract this first equation from the second equation. So 24.2424 minus 0 0.2424 is 24. And this equals 100x minus x, 99x. Uh, we divide both of our sides of the equation here by 99 to get our equivalent fraction there. We have x is equal to 24 over 99. Now this can be simplified a little bit further because three goes into both the numerator and the denominator. This is equal to eight over 33. There you go, 0 0.24242424242424 is equal to eight over 33. And that's the second type of decimal that we're converting across to its equivalent fraction. The next type of fractions we're going to be converting, recurring decimals, but where the repeat doesn't occur straight away. Now, this is just going to require a modification on the last trick. So let's have a bit of a look. We'll start with this example here. Uh, we're going to convert 0 0.16666666 across to its fraction. So to start, we're going to do that same step where we're going to make 0 0.16666 equal to x. Now, from this, we're going to form two different equations which are going to help us do this conversion here. The first one, we're going to look for where the first repeat occurs. So that first repeat, same step, uh, as you can see right here, the first repeat between that second and third decimal place here, we have to jump two decimal places. So if we were to do that, we're going to multiply by 100. Let's do that. So we end up with 16.666 is equal to 100x. Next, what we're going to do, I'll just rub that out, is we're going to look for where just before the first repeat occurs. That's this part right here. Okay, so if we were to do that, as you can see, to get to that spot, we have to only move one decimal place. So we multiply by 10. Now, if we were to multiply this equation here by 10, we end up with 1.666 is equal to uh, 10x. Cool. So we have two different equations which are going to be used to help us do our equivalent fraction here. Now to do this, what we do is we are going to take this particular equation off this equation here, equation two from equation one. So 16.6666 minus 1.6666 is equal to 15. Uh, this equals 100x minus 10x, which is equal to 90x. And as you can see, we're just on the edge of getting our answer here. So we can go through and divide both of our sides by 90 here, and we will get the following, where we get x, our equivalent fraction, is equal to 15 over 90. This can be simplified down because 15 goes into both of these. Uh, we have x equaling 1 sixth. So 0 0.16666 is equal to 1 sixth. So what about this one here? What about we convert 0 0.9166666 
into its equivalent fraction. Let's go through and do it. So the first thing we did is we go through and we make 0 0.91666 equal to x. Now, once again, to get that first equation here, we look for that first repeat, which is just there. We have to move one, two, three times. We're going to multiply by 1,000 to get that particular space there. So let's go through and do that. Uh, multiply by 1,000, we get uh, 916.666 is equal to 1,000x. Cool. Now, to get that second equation, we look for just before the first repeat, which is that point just there. 1, 2, we're going to multiply by 100. So let's do that. Multiply by 100, we get 91.666 is equal to 100x. We have two equations. We have equation 1 and equation 2. We subtract equation 2 from equation 1. So 916.666 minus 91.666 is 825. 1000x minus 100x is 900x. And we can go through and solve for x now, working out what that equivalent fraction is. So x is going to be equal to 825 over 900. This simplifies down if we divide both the top and the bottom by 75 into 11 over 12. And there you have it. That's how you can go through and you can convert any decimal into its equivalent fraction. Anyway, that's all there is for today's thrilling installment. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please smoosh down hard on that like button and subscribe. As usual, a shout out to my lovely patrons. You know who you are. Thank you for your continued support. Anywho, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.